Hello there, my name is John Reynolds, and I'm going to bring you into the not-so-wonderful world of syphilis. Syphilis is a bacterial infection. There are four stages in syphilis. The first stage, or primary stage, is just a painless open sore on your body called a shanka. The shanka can usually be found on the genitals, mouth, or anus. The secondary stage is also a highly contagious skin rash. Very gross, yes, stay away, it's very, very contagious. The third stage, or latent stage, is also referred to as the hidden stage, because there are no symptoms seem to be present. A person in early latent stage can still be contagious. The final stage, also known as tertiary syphilis, can develop problems like mental disorders, blindness, heart disorders, and other problems dealing with the nervous system. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease, which means you can get syphilis through having sex with someone who's infected with this disease. However, though this is an STD, you can still get syphilis without actually needing to have sexual intercourse. You can get it through being with close physical contact with someone who's infected with syphilis. Places that you can get syphilis exposure from when in close contact with are the genitals, mouth, or anus. The treatment for syphilis is penicillin. Penicillin works by interfering with the formation of the bacteria cells while it is growing. As it grows, the walls weaken. At one point, it just stops the construction of the cell walls and the bacteria dies. The primary stage only takes one injection, which is usually given in a half dose in each buttock. The penicillin stops the infectivity in a day or two, and it completely cures the disease in about a week or two. The secondary stage is treated in the same way, but instead of just one dose, you get three doses over periods of weeks. Unfortunately, people who get treated for the secondary stage suffer a reaction after the first treatment. The symptoms are sweating, sudden fever, or sudden headache, and a rash can also be a reaction to the treatment. Luckily, this clears up in about 24 hours. Tertiary syphilis can also be treated with penicillin. Though the therapy for tertiary syphilis is a lot longer than the treatment for secondary syphilis, it does not always kill all the hidden bacteria. Organ damage cannot be repaired either. It is amazing to think that a disease that was once so harmful, contagious, and deadly can be cured by penicillin. The nervous system is the main system that syphilis can affect. The organs that it affects in the nervous system are the skin and or dermis, in which a rash appears. Another organ is the heart, in which the aorta develops a saccular aneurysm. In other words, the bacteria creates a weak area in the blood vessel wall and has the potential to rupture. You're gonna. The central nervous system is another area that is infected. The infection causes delirium, which makes you crazy, and paralysis, which means you're a vegetable and can't move. With all this said, you would definitely not want to get this disease. So, you may want to know all the ways that can prevent you from catching this disease. Abstinence from sex and sexual contact is going to be your best option. But of course, we all know a lot of people cannot stay abstinent from these activities, so using protection like a condom is always a good way to lower the risks. However, you can still get infectious syphilis activity in the areas that were covered by a condom. So if you thought that you were completely protected by the condom, you were wrong. If you are in a relationship, make sure you and your partner both get checked for STDs, so you can further protect yourself from this disease. As of right now, there's no better treatment for syphilis than penicillin, because of course, as you know, penicillin cures this disease. However, scientists are finding better ways to diagnose syphilis. Right now, they're trying to develop a diagnostic test that does not involve blood. They're trying to see if they can test saliva and urine to see if they're just as effective in blood in a diagnosis. Bad news for men, good news for women. Men seem to catch syphilis a lot more often than women do. In the United States in 2004, out of every 100,000 persons in our population, 
4.7 men had syphilis and 0.9 women had syphilis. So it seems that men need to watch out for it a lot more than women do. Age-wise, the prime age for a man to catch syphilis is 35 to 39 years of age. For women, the prime age to catch this disease seems to be in the range of 20 to 24 years of age. Interesting! Men get it more, but catch it later in life. Women catch it less, but they get it early. I hope all of you enjoyed my informal video on syphilis. Have a nice day, and don't get it. You hold on for your life. Hold on to your little gonads and strife. 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 Gonads and strife.